A new solar institute has been launched in Newcastle in a bid to restore Australia's reputation as an innovator in the solar sector. The federal government has committed $100 million to fast-track solar research. There are hopes the institute will also help lower the cost of solar energy. Newcastle, better known for coal mining than renewable energy, is also home to the Australian Solar Institute, launched today by the federal government. It's hoped the $100 million research initiative will once again position Australia at the forefront of solar technology. The world is crying out for cost-competitive solar technology. The government considers that action is required in order to restore Australia as a key player in solar energy technologies. More than one million Australian households and businesses use solar energy. And technology invented in Australia is helping to power solar energy plants in California. But Mr Ferguson stressed that Australia has some catching up to do after a decade of neglect in order to develop a commercially viable solar industry. Over the next 10 to 15 years, there's going to be a major transformation of the Australian energy uh, sector, and this institute is going to help drive that transformation. The federal government has set a 20% renewable energy target by 2020 and is stressing its commitment to energy innovation after it was forced to scrap its unpopular means test on the solar panel rebate. Researchers are also stressing the need to lower the cost of solar energy while also identifying other scientific challenges. We've got to collect the solar energy more efficiently. The second one is we've got to store it so we can use it when the sun's not shining. Um, and the third one is that we've got to lower the cost um, to allow it to be applied more broadly on the top of every home right through to supplying base load. $15 million will go towards funding solar research projects by the CSIRO, the Australian National University and the University of New South Wales. The Solar Institute will also support greater collaboration between researchers here and overseas. Vesna Nazor, World News Australia.